Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on my tanning tips and tricks. A lot of people have been asking me to share my tanning tricks because in the summertime I am very known for being absolutely obsessed with tanning. I love having a nice tan. Just a disclaimer before we get started in this video, I am in no way, shape, or form endorsing sun tanning. I am very aware of the harmful effects it has on your skin, and I am not telling you you need to go outside and tan, but if you do, then you might want to know my tips and tricks, so that's what this is. If you're interested in that, then just keep watching. All right, let me just get into a little story about my tan right now. It's not totally intense, but it is there. I stopped self tanning about two months ago and I have been just sitting out in the sun. Let me just be real here. We all love a good self tan moment, but it is a hassle and it's messy and I'm just not a tanning bed kind of girl. So when I get the chance to sit in the sun, I take it. I love the sun but I wanna make sure I do it safely and effectively. Right off the bat, I am going to debunk a little misconception people have about tanning. It does not need to be warm outside to get a good tan. Essentially what I do is if it's a sunny day out, I'll bring my laptop and my homework outside to kind of just get some rays while I get some work done at the same time. I also like to bring a blanket outside with me as well as a sweater and sweatpants. When I see that the clouds are rolling in, I like to bundle up in the blanket. As long as your chair is directly in the sun, then you will be able to get a really even tan. Let's talk about when can you tan. For me in Canada, I would say around April to end of September. I know that might sound absolutely crazy, but if you catch the sun at the right time, then you will get a nice tan. Mid-April, you're looking for a clear, cloudless, sunny day with a nice high UV in your set. The best times to tan are from 11 to 4.30. The sun's UV index is at its highest between 12 and 2.30. So that's your prime time. It's also your prime burn time. So you wanna be super duper careful. Another thing I wanna add in is if it's a windy day, whether it be in April when it's quite cold or if it's in the dead smack middle of July, the wind is going to make your skin very dry. It is also going to make you think that you're not getting any sun. So you need to be careful and make sure you go inside regularly to check your skin by pressing on it and releasing to see if you have a burn. The wind will make you feel a lot colder and hence you'll burn a little faster because you won't think you're getting any sun. So be super careful. I have honestly watched a lot of tanning videos, YouTube searching, how to get a tan fast, how to turn a burn into a tan, um, pretty much everything along those lines. And they all start off with the same thing. Drink water and exfoliate your skin the night before. I don't really wanna go ahead and tell you all that because it's kind of a given. For me, I want to get a tan that day. I want those tan lines today, girl. Like I wanna come out of the shower after tanning and I wanna, I just wanna, I wanna just, you know, I just wanna Hawaii vibe, right? Like, so the first thing I do is I like to sit out in the sun for about 15 minutes with no sunscreen. Don't do this if you burn easily. Everyone's skin type is different. I like to sit out there for about 15 to 30 minutes without any sunscreen so my body absorbs a little bit of color. I then go ahead and I apply a sunscreen. It depends on how pale I am. If I'm on the lighter side, I'm going to take an SPF 30 sunscreen and put that all over my body, especially my face, and sit out in the sun. To enhance the tanning process, I also sometimes add a tanning lotion or a tanning oil. I just got this tanning lotion that looks absolutely terrifying. The packaging is not the best, to be honest. It's like literally fucking scary. Like it's, ugh. but it's really good. I've so far really liked it. It's moisturizing to my skin and it helps enhance the tan. And you already know mama got this from Amazon Prime. I ordered it and the next day she was here in the morning. 
So this here is a tan enhancer that has a bronzing agent in it. So what this means is that all the juicy goodness in here is going to help my skin become super moisturized and luscious and soak up the UV rays in the best possible way to achieve a tan. If you want to get that tan in the same day, girl, this is what you got to do. Especially if you have fair skin, please be cautious about the amount of time you are sitting in the sun without sunscreen, but determine what kind of skin tone and burn type you got going on and then do that. So for me, I sit out for 30 minutes without any sunscreen and then I go in with an SPF 30 all over my body. I'm just going to share with you my favorite face sunscreen in the entire freaking world. I don't know if you guys have the same problem, but if I put a sunscreen on my face, I swear to God I can taste it and it's disgusting. And I also feel like it makes me look greasy or makes me look white because of the color of sunscreen. And I just have a really hard time applying sunscreen to my face and having it look fucking snatched. Yeah, like, ugh. Anyways, this Sun Bum Stick Sunscreen in SPF 30 is... It's Gandhi, you know what I'm saying? It's like Mother Teresa vibe. Smells like banana, hawaka, kawaka, laka, smoothie, like you know what I mean? Like that's a thing, right? This sunscreen is a clear stick sunscreen that I was just, I literally was so close to being like on my makeup. That would have been so bad. This is a clear sunscreen and it is non-greasy. So I can load it up. It's like, it's mattifying. I have no shine with it. It's just so good. Like, oh, you need this. Like, you need this. And it does not make me break out whatsoever. And it's soft. Like, this is on my hand right now. It is so soft. This is 100% the best face sunscreen you will ever buy in your life. And I'm almost certain that they have this in SPF 62. I also have the little stick version baby bum which is the baby version and an spf 50 and this one is not as it's not as like a vibe as the other one because it kind of is a little white because it's for babies like babies aren't trying to look fly at the beach you know what i'm saying but it is a very good sunscreen so i also recommend this one but if you love yourself you're gonna buy yourself this one okay this one this one this one this one this one this one buy this buy this buy this buy this not sponsored buy this buy this sun bum sponsor me okay next i want to talk about sun bum again I love their sunscreen. I love their products. I love their everything. They smell great, but they're hella overpriced. This is my favorite 30 SPF sunscreen. It's just like, it's just fucking sunscreen, you know? If you don't want to spend that much money, then uh, just get like one of these. Make sure. Ooh. Make sure that it is a UVA and UVB protection. This is the sunscreen SPF 4 I use. It's so good. It's not like a miracle work or anything, but it's just a basic SPF 4 and it makes my skin feel pretty good. Another thing a lot of people ask me is how do I not die of heat in the summertime when I try to tan? I do. I drink a lot of water. Drink a lot, a lot, a lot of water. Another thing I like to do, so I have a garden hose. Put it on, I, this is my imaginary hose. And this is me changing the dial. So I'm going to turn it until it goes to mist. And then I'm going to, boom. But I have a pool, so. gonna use a hose i take a little hose and i spray myself down and sit back in the sun i don't want to get too overheated another thing is my dad bought my sister and i these misters from home depot i believe it basically looks like this green little um squiggle thingy like i don't really look and then it, and you just turn the hose you connect it to the hose and you turn it on it like mists put it where you're sitting and then 
it's just mist while you're it's like being in the pool and tanning but when you don't have a pool it, it, it is just, just just the mist and poor people hacks after i have tanned i always like to go at least rinse my body off if not take a whole shower i like to use a soft no fragrance soap and just make sure i remove all the sunscreen and gunk also use a loofah and get rid of dead skin because again tanning will make your skin very dry and we want to make sure that we take off the dead skin so the next time we go back and tan we penetrate that tan we get the tan deeper D -d -d deeper basically after you shower you're gonna follow up with a moisturizer i love this moisturizer and this is what i'm currently using this is literally such a hunker that i have to if i'm showing you i have to like hold it like a like a child like hey, this is the product the smell of this is so good i constantly get compliments on how good i smell after I've showered and put on this lotion. This is the Johnson's Cotton Touch Newborn Baby Face and Body Lotion. And what I love about this, it is so hydrating. It absorbs into my skin extremely fast, but it is so gentle and amazing. I strongly, strongly recommend this. I just got it from my um, grocery store. My last thing, after tanning is this sun bum cool down spray this spray is really good because it makes my burn go away so fast and it prolongs my tan like there is absolutely no tomorrow and i hate to be recommending another sun bum product but it really is my favorite it's very moisturizing it's dry to the touch after you let it sink in. They also make a lotion form of this one. On the bottle, it says that this helps with sunburns, chafing, skin peeling, wind burns, itchiness, dry and dehydrated skin. Need I say more? Don't think so. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Just let me know if you have any questions down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video.